Manny Pacquiao is due to come back to the ring in December in an exhibition comeback. His opponent is Korean martial art expert DKU, who's also a YouTuber. Manny Pacquiao retired from boxing because he wanted to continue his political career. He thought he had a good chance to win the presidency in the Philippines. Didn't happen. I have no problem with Manny Pacquiao doing exhibition fights. He deserves to get some easy money. Everybody else is doing it. Roy Jones, Mike Tyson, and especially Floyd Mayweather. And you got the YouTubers, Jake Paul. I don't really care for exhibition fights, but I'm not knocking them. Make your money. My thing is, if Manny Pacquiao is coming back to do exhibition fights, and Floyd Mayweather is continuing to do exhibition fights, why these two get together and have an exhibition fight against each other? I wouldn't watch it, but the casuals will watch it. The same casuals that watch Jake Paul against Tyron Woodley, Roy Jones against Mike Tyson. They will watch a Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao 2 fight, and it will make a lot of money. You would think Floyd Mayweather would not have a problem with that because it's an exhibition fight. It's no winner or loser. You keep your 50 and 0 record, and you make lots and lots of money because casuals will pay for it, regardless of what people say. I'm not, I'm not watching an exhibition fight. They watch the other ones, they will watch this one. For some reason, I think Floyd does not want the exhibition fight against Manny Pacquiao because of perception. Even though Pacquiao Mayweather would be an exhibition fight, I still think Pacquiao will go out there and fight like it's a real fight. Mayweather doesn't want that. He'll stick to his YouTubers and sparring partners. That's a safe way to go and collect a $9 million paycheck. It's way closer than what it used to be, so, you know, I think it's definitely going Finally, some real news on Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight. Errol Spence says the fight is closer than it's ever been. But he also said, if the fight doesn't happen now, then it never will. I don't know the contract stipulations or nothing. I know if these guys do not make this fight, they will be missing out on a golden opportunity. They are not spring chickens. Terrence Crawford's 34, Spence is 32. They got a couple of years left in their prime. And they won't make as much money as they will make now. Think about it. If Spence moves to 154, who's he gonna fight to make as much money as he would fighting Terrence Crawford? And vice versa. This is a big fight for legacy, but it's also a big fight financially for these two guys. I mean, Spence is a bigger draw than Terrence Crawford as far as pay-per-view numbers. But if you talk to Eddie Hearn, who's in the business, I'm not in the business. He says, Ariel Spence is not really a pay-per-view star. I mean, both guys could move up to 154 and fight Jamel Charlo. Terrence Crawford wants to smoke. Errol Spence says, if it makes sense, he'll fight Jamel Charlo. But even if that fight materialized for both guys, it's still not bigger than them two fighting each other. In my opinion, this fight needs to happen. And I hope Spence is right. I hope they are close to reaching an agreement and we have this fight in the fall. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.